when I'm having when I'm having sex, it's it's like you can't initiate touch like touch me. I have to know that you're gonna touch me. And when you go to touch me, it's like I had to like brace myself. This is during like a sexual encounter. I would have to brace myself just for you to touch me. My name is Ronald Savage. When I was younger, I was molested by Africa Bambada. Africa Bambada is the founding father of hip hop. He's the co-founder of the Universal Zulu Nation. He's done uh, tons of records uh, like Planet Rock, um, Looking for the Perfect Beat. I met them when I was around 14. When I was in the ninth grade, um, I was cut in one day and um, I had called Africa Bambada and because um, I didn't have nowhere to go. So I went up to, um, to his house. Um, he paid the cab and um, I was in the living room. Another gentleman was there and it looked like they was DJing. And um, um, Bam told me that I could go into um, his bedroom because the TV was on. So I went to the bedroom and I was in there and I say, I was in the bedroom no more than three, four minutes. And um, Bam took out his penis and um, he started jerking it. And he told me um, that for me to take mine out. And at that time, I didn't really understand what jerking was. So he was telling me, oh, that everybody does it. He unzipped my pants and he took it out and he started jerking it. And then he put my hand on it and then started making me um, jerk it. Then he left the room and the guy that was in the living room, um, he came into the room. And when he came into the room, his thing was already out. And I got up off the bed and I left. Another time, um, Bam came to my house. The thing that really um, stayed in my mind and really freaked me out is um, I had to lay on the bed and I had to cross my legs and he would put his penis in between my legs and then pump up and down and I remember at the time I had this big guy like on me and it from that time I I bugged out <laughs> I'm not gonna lie like it, it confused me, like, because I, I had never had sex before in my life. No one's never touched me like that. And to be touched, my first time being, my first time being touched was by a man. During the course of growing up, I told, like, my close friends what happened to me because at that time, I didn't know who to trust, you know? I didn't feel safe because they all used to come to my house, like the Zulu Nation Council and, um, and BAM. So I didn't know who to turn to. I didn't know who to trust. I didn't know if I told what's something gonna happen to me, what's something gonna happen to my sister, to, to my mother, you know? So I just held it in. I used to keep it bottled up and doing the course with my girlfriends and stuff like that. Their thing was that I didn't know how to show affection. So I used to blame myself for that because I didn't know how to show affection. And when I'm having sex, it would stay hard and then go back down because while I'm having sex, I would think about Bambada and then it would go down. And you know, that's the things that I, the girlfriends didn't like. And I, I blame myself for that. And I, I try to commit suicide about that because I, I was always wishing that that didn't happen to me. And I always was wondering if that didn't happen to me, like, would I be able to perform the right way? For the time after that, I found myself just not trusting people, especially when I got in, in cars, like with my other friend, guy friends. It was on my mind was, are they going to do this too? And I swear to God, that still stays with me now. I'm not looking for any compensation from um, Africa Bambada.
um, that that's not what this is about. Um, I never asked them for money. Um, I never was seeking money from them. The only thing I wanted was for this man to answer my question, why me? You know, that's, that's my justice for myself because I just wanted to know why me? My reasons for coming forth is I feel that something needs to happen because there's, if it took me this long to come out and people are now telling me, oh, you know, it's nothing that can be done because of the stature of limitations. I feel, honestly, I feel that the statute of limitations should be longer or if not, done away with. It took me to 50 to be comfortable to talk about it, to let it out. So I feel that how can people put limitations on something you've never been through? You know, you don't, you, you, you can't, you haven't experienced the pain, the suffering that I went through since a young teen up until now. And then for it to be told that I have up until 21 or 23 to report it, that's totally unfair. Because at that age, I had just told my parents. I wasn't ready to tell the world. Every day of my life, I think about what happened to me. And it bothers me because I was always afraid to get it out, afraid to talk about it. No, because I, I I never wanted to be judged. I always wanted to be like everyone else. So that's you know that's probably maybe one of the reasons why I didn't say nothing to no one. You know, other than being afraid um, and what, what will happen to me if, if I do tell. Because this is a very powerful man. You know, he has I believe it's 1.5 million members worldwide. We are my run to.